Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with the outdoor um, summer bin here for an update. And I wanted to show you guys just how well these worms have been getting along. They have completely processed, from what I can see, just about absolutely everything I've given them. And the level in here has dropped so substantially. It's incredible. So um, I haven't done an update on here for a while, but the temperature in the bins right now is 80 degrees. But I will say that we had several weeks of um, like 100 or nearly 100 degrees almost every day. And these worms thrived despite the temperatures. I never put... Um, frozen water bottles, nothing like that in here. And these worms are still doing really, really well. What I'm loving about this is I can pick up these castings and they flake. Even though I've done nothing extraordinary to try to maintain the temperatures, just everything in here is just fully, if not close to fully, being processed. So I've kind of kept this running even though I was planning on dumping it simply because the level keeps dropping in here and the, the castings are still holding up, not getting overly moist from what I can see. So I decided to come out today and I'd take a peek in here. It's first thing in the morning. It is um, actually only in the 60s this morning really rare break temperature wise for us, but you can see some European night crawlers, red wigglers, got a good array in here. But as far as I can, as far as I can dig, everything's coming up. If I can dig down here, everything is just coming up beautifully and the worms are absolutely all throughout here. So. I wanted to give these guys another feeding. I am going to quickly show you though a few pictures I've taken along the way from various feedings that I've done off camera. And then I will show you guys the feeding I'm doing this week. So let's take a look at some of those pictures and we'll get these guys fed up. So I just got home from work and I have a um, good deal of food here for them. So I'm using just some like paper towels and stuff I had around the house, some paper towel rolls, um, just things like that. I have a drink container or a drink carrier rather, paper, paper bag, obviously just quite 
a mess of stuff in here. I'm going to try to adjust the camera so you can see just how far that level has dropped. And there are some climbers, but very few. Nothing that I'm concerned about. And I have two big bags of food I'm going to dump in here real quick. My friend um, packaged these up for me. They're still frozen. But I'm just going to dump these in right on top of the bedding I just put in here. And I have another one. And I have one more drink container I'm just going to toss on top here. So it's really kind of top feeding this with some extra bedding to help absorb the moisture. Um, I wanted there to be plenty of bedding underneath because this is going to release a ton of moisture. It's a lot of melon. So uh, just a quick update today letting you guys see what's going on. So let me know what you think guys. Drop those comments below. Like this video. Subscribe if you'd like some more content from me. Read that description below for more information and I hope you have a great day.